Welcome back. I'm tracking the storm for you this morning and just checked in on those latest rainfall amounts. If you're towards the north coast or even some of those inland portions of San Luis Obispo County, you're getting pretty close. If you haven't met already about two inches of rain, so this rain is really packing a punch coming down at intense levels. We can see that here with your satellite and radar really showing the intensity of this storm because of that different coloring that gives us an idea of how the rainfall rates are. And this will continue throughout this morning into this afternoon. And what's really interesting about this GFS high resolution model is it really shows that this is going to just stay put over the central coast, primarily San Luis Obispo County, even more so for focusing on northern San Luis Obispo County. That's why we're going to see such high rainfall amounts over that area. It isn't until Thursday when it does start to make that move in that southerly direction. And if we take a look here at some of the details with these projected rainfall totals, you can see already by 11 o'clock this morning, we get within that range of about two to three inches over that northern portion of Slow County. We continue to go up from there throughout the afternoon into the overnight hours, and you can see more more rain concentrated for the northern portion of Slow County compared to our south coast region. But even down here, potential for us to get about two to four inches of rain when this is all said and done. Flash flood watch is in effect this entire area in green. So those coastal regions for San Luis Obispo County due to that heavy rainfall that could result in flooding of roads and creeks. Our main areas of concern with this one will definitely be Highway 101 and also the Avila burn scar as well. Switching gears and talking about this potential for some snowfall. We're under a winter storm warning this entire area in pink. You can see it stretches from Santa Barbara County well into Ventura County as well as these elevations with the snowfall are going to fall. And we can see here with the GFS high resolution snowfall that it's possible we're getting pretty close to Santa Maria Valley seeing a little bit of snowfall there. Wind advisory in effect and also a high wind warning this lighter color here towards the coastline, but also for some of our inland valley communities as wind gusts could increase to about 65 miles per hour. It's already happened throughout this morning. I anticipate it happening throughout the afternoon and evening, and we're under a wind advisory for parts of our inland valleys in San Luis Obispo County, but also northern Santa Barbara County as well. Wind gusts there up to about 50 miles per hour. Take a look at this. Like I said, we've already reached some of those wind speeds close to about 65 miles per hour this morning, but we're going to stay on the gusty side really throughout this afternoon. Well into tonight, we're seeing some of those sustained wind speeds close to about 35 to 45 miles per hour. It isn't until tomorrow afternoon when the winds will start to back off a little bit, just as that system starts to move again in that southerly direction. Back at the coast, still under that high surf advisory, but now we do have this coastal flood advisory coupled with that. Moderate flooding is expected near Port San Luis, especially during this morning with those higher tides. And talking about your temperatures, similar to what we had yesterday, hanging on to the 40s for some of our inland valleys through about 9 o'clock this morning. Daytime highs are going to be chilly, close or two about the mid 50s just depending on where you are areas like the south coast region in santa barbara could reach the low 60s but we're seeing that consistency from the beaches to the coastal valleys to our inland valleys we're right around the 50s for the most part with a few exceptions of course you can see for california valley closer to the mid 40s upper 50s for your five cities region we'll see similar temperatures along the north coast we'll have more coming up right after the break stay with us